My microphone's definitely not set up. Okay. Good morning, Valerie. How are you? Good morning. I feel like extra tired today. But we're gonna wake up together and we'll be all right. I feel like I slept okay. I'm just like, I don't know. I had a really frustrating night and I don't I bought a like, I have dual monitors and they're sitting kind of low. So y'all probably see like sometimes I have to lean over and read. Um, so I bought monitor stands and I took all these measurements. And because when I stream Animal Crossing or any console game, I have to have my television. So I got my television, one monitor and another monitor. Even though I measured I bought adjustable feet, like, with the, the monitor stand and adjustable feet, it's still, like, so high up, I can't see my television, and my husband's like, well, we can do this, and we can get new legs for it, and we can do this thing, and I was like, no, it was like $80, if I'm going to spend $80 on something, it needs to just be correct, and I got really frustrated because like we had to move my lights and my monitors and my camera and my mic and my keyboard and my stream and all the things to get this set up. And it was so annoying. Hales, thank you for the roses. So I ended up being like, no, we're just going to take it down. No, we're just going to take it down. I don't want to look at it. I don't want to fix it. I don't, it just, blah, 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 blah. and like flipping out. And he's a saint of a human and he's like, okay, let's do that. And so he lifts my monitors and I pull it out and hand it to him. And as I'm like trying to put everything back together, because this is at like nine o'clock last night at this point almost. I'm like, well, it's not working and I have to get it set up because I can't stream like this in the morning. And na, 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 na. And he went and like boxed it all back up for me. And he's like, okay, it's all taken care of. Like, we can take care of it. <laughs> he's a good dude. Morning, Chloe. I hate when things go like that, too. Who's going to show up today? Silvana again? Anyway. So it was just a big frustration to, like, then go to sleep on. And then I took this guy to the couch with me yesterday and fell asleep on his belly. My husband has named him Teefs. <laughs> he does have cute old Teefs. Laid back, nothing gets him going really to calm to my storm, honestly. The times he has had to, like, talk me off a mental ledge um, is innumerable. Oh, yeah. I always hang out in the other room. That's why I always try to change in the other room, too, so when they come in, I don't have to talk to them. <laughs> He's wonderful. I have a very fantastic husband. Oh, we didn't even buy anything from the shop yesterday. <laughs> Mine gets stressed occasionally, but it's about like very rational things. And meanwhile, I'm like, this is the wrong color. This doesn't work right. No, my other island, we just forgot about it. I gave my husband a switch back, so that's some of it. Not that I couldn't just go get it, but... It takes a lot of studying and reading and 
Um, I like these sandals. Getting help from people. But it's doable. Remember that? How sweet it yesterday on Happy Home and how beautiful it was. So at some point, once you've upgraded your home and all that good stuff, you'll be able to talk to Tom Nook about changing like the roof and the outside look of it. And there's a lot of different options. Yeah, that furniture is so cute. And it looked so good in our house yesterday. Our vacation home. Alright, let's see what we've got for goals today. Water produce, pop a balloon, catch fish, sell fruit, earn bells by selling items. Uh, right? I would I would also like to go to that room and now. How are you? Good morning. <laughs> In a safety meeting, fell asleep with my switch last night. That's funny. We can't stream quite as long as we did yesterday today. I have a Pilates class at 10, but we can do longer than our normal. We roll and got the cold room. My kiddos ready to go to school. We are good. I am here and awake-ish. That's about it. <laughs> oh goodness. They've got to watch you while you're in the bathroom because you watch them while they go to the bathroom. <laughs> I have a four star because my island has traffic hazards, but it's not even that busy. <sighs> That's crazy. Finally caught a giant isopod yesterday. I officially caught all the creatures since season. Congratulations! The sand castle is just an item that you can purchase and place on the sand. I just thought it looked cute some cute sand decor because people forget like your beach is part of your island so if you're trying to decorate and get your star level up you should be decorating your beach too not only that you can also put decor on the big like rocky peninsulas that stick out of your island oh what's up stinky we are good buddies a super secret buddy saying? Like what? What should we have Stinky say to us? Thank you for your sheets, very helpful. Oh, you're welcome. Good morning, Marley. Oh, sorry, I yawned in the middle of that. Good morning, Yar Marley. <laughs> what should Stinky say to us? Stink bug. Lucky says, what's up, cheese bags? And it's one of my favorite things. Oh, I kind of like what's shake and bacon. That sounds like something I would say. Oops. Morning, Mario. <laughs> My controller has a mind of its own today. There we go. You aced it. It's great. 
Big is the answer. You found a Spotify playlist with Steel Cupcakes and all the other Animal Crossing songs? That's too funny. You should share it in the Discord if you were in it. People would love that. Yeah, I was afraid it wouldn't fit. And I was going to have to drop the punctuation, but I enjoy proper punctuation. I use Animal Crossing music as lullabies to kids at work. That's so smart. What a nice way to like keep it appropriate and fun, but it not be the same lullabies all the time. Man, we've not had luck with the money trees lately. be hard playing all the vice for kids but also trying not to fall asleep yourself <laughs> let's water these vegetables good morning how are you hard to like not take naps during the day because I'm not going to be able to do that in the middle of my like 12 hour shift. So, although today would be a great nap day. I'll probably feel better after I work out, honestly. I usually come home from a workout and feel like pumped. You know, we all know the benefits of working out, endorphins and all that. And I know these things. I'm a smart woman. But my gosh, like why did nobody tell me how good they feel? Aiden, thank you for the roses. I do not work out every day. I actually generally dislike working out, as is evidenced by my appearance. Y'all can't see my whole body, but just know it's definitely someone who does not work out all the time. But, um, I recently got so frustrated with a lot of things. I don't like the way I look in clothes and I don't like my lap work all the time and I don't. I would like to take fewer medications and a lot of that is dependent on me choosing to live a healthier lifestyle and being more aware and caring a little more about taking care of myself. And so I started doing Pilates and I'm really, really enjoying it. So I'm trying to do two classes a week. <sighs> Mason, good morning. How are you feeling today? It is hard at first. It's completely changing your lifestyle and your mindset. Um, yeah, and I'm, and it's kind of been the same for me. Like a lot of things have changed once I hit 35, and not to mention, you know, being chronically ill and the kidney transplant and all that stuff has a big effect on my life and my health, as it, you know, it is. So, but I'm, I'm so short. Like I have a membership at a, at a gym. But I'm so short that I struggle to work on like workout machines effectively and safely on some of them. And so I just don't do it. And I don't really enjoy just going and like getting on an elliptical 
Um, I have an old ankle injury. I can't run anymore. That kind of thing. So... I have a lot of restrictions. Hi, good morning. I am off again today. I need to study today, you guys, or I'm going to end up pushing my registry back again. Yeah. Oh, my packets are full. Let's drop it. Um, I have tried yoga. I... I ended up choosing Pilates. My mom is the, is a Pilates instructor and she has been for a really long time. I've always talked about Pilates and I really like working out on the reformer. Um, and I joined this place here in town. I went and did their intro course and I was kind of afraid and I build this all up in my head like people with anxiety do. Um, that these Pilates people are going to be like, <laughs> what are you doing here? Kind of Pilates people. Um, the town I live in is not like a giant town, but we have a really high concentration of medical people for the size of the town it is. So a lot of like doctors, doctor spouses, a lot of money that people like to show off because it is a small town and when I got there I was pleasantly surprised by the variety of clientele and the variety of employees and how cool they are and kind they are and genuinely seem like excited for you to be there so <laughs> um Got 100% on an assignment for design yesterday and didn't leave my bed, though. That's awesome, Mason. Look at you. Got a full night's rest and still feel tired. Mario, I feel the same way today. Girl, is this my fave? Good morning. Lindsay, how's it going with the bug catching? I'm curious. When I trainers to the gym I used to go to called me obese. People like that exist. See? So I was just... I'm a relatively confident woman in my own skin. But when I'm stepping outside of my comfort zone, the anxiety ramps up and tells me a lot of things that aren't true. <laughs> Y'all know. Uh, <laughs> but I've had such a wonderful experience there in the few classes I've done that it just makes me, and I like doing the classes, it makes me excited to go and I can tell in just the few classes I've done, like, I'm getting a little better and it's getting, it's making a little more sense and things are flowing a little more smoothly and like, it's nice. I feel sore, but I feel good about it. Like, it's good. What are we doing? We're working on your island. We're just kind of doing daily chores. I always try to look at my nook miles here and complete at least these multiplier miles to get my miles. We might decorate a house again today, if y'all liked that yesterday. I still get anxious when I go to the gym. I usually get through at 4am, no one's there. Yeah, working out in a group is motivating, and like the variety of people there, there's, there's ladies younger than me, there's ladies like substantially older than me, there's people there who are rehabbing injuries, and it's just nice. And the trainers like genuinely know the people by their names. Hey Ace, good morning! And, um, you know, they've come up and they've been like, hey, you're looking a lot better than you were last week. Like, is this getting easier for you here? Like, or hey, maybe you should think about this during your week and that'll make your hips feel a little better because I've noticed you stand kind of like this. So maybe if you adjust that during your day, your hip flexors won't hurt so much and like stuff like that. So this is called Club Pilates. It's a chain of Pilates. Um, it's cool, like the classes can't be any larger than 12, that's the number of reformers they have. 
started my new Animal Crossing. Nice. Good morning, yesterday. Happy birthday. Part I saw Carlos. Ugh. I would love to decorate Carlos a vacation home. Maybe we should invite him out and decorate one for him. I like trainers like that. A lot of them don't care. Yeah, no, they... I was struggling with a move in class on Sunday, and, like, the instructor came over, and she told everyone else to stop because they had done all their reps. And she was like, no, you have to hold the handles like this. And then it's like an awkward wrist movement when you're holding these straps crisscrossed, and it, my body just doesn't really understand it yet. And she's like, that's it. It's going to feel awkward, but, yeah, you got to move your wrist like this. And I was like, okay, okay, so... But she does it in a way like you're sitting there in front of everybody and getting corrected, but I've never felt she's stupid. I'm really enjoying Pilates. It's it's good. I can tell like I'm having less shoulder pain in general every day already. Can you tell me how you're supposed to decorate your island? I get so overwhelmed. Now, if you're getting overwhelmed, just take it like section by section. A lot of people like to do full island themes. I personally find that a bit restrictive for the type of person I am and a little overwhelming. <laughs> Excuse me. So I ended up, I mean, I started my island in 2020 like a lot of people did and I tried to make it like, If I could go and live on this island, what would I want on it? And so I've got little sections that I personally would enjoy going to if it really existed. <laughs> you have to go to school and you're so stressed, that's okay. It's normal to be a little anxious and stressed about school. I hope it gets better for you though. It can be hard if you're starting a new year and learning all the things. How often do I go? I try, I'm i doing twice a week right now for classes. Hi, good morning. Oh, we forgot to pick up this fencing the other day. A good peanut butter sandwich. I love a good peanut butter sandwich. Grape jelly, because grape jelly is the only correct choice. My movie was the movie was interesting. It wasn't as... I thought it was going to be more like horror horror movie. I have difficulty with that word. You called in sick again. Oh no. Why did I come here? This isn't what I wanted. Banned nut butters this year. Yeah. She Don't Use Jelly is a Flaming Lips song. I love the Flaming Lips. Good morning. Jessica and Emma, thank you for the follow. I love Nutter Butters. I do too. Marshmallow fluff. That sounds so sweet. I've still never had... Nutella was how I was told to pronounce it, but I've always read it as Nutella. Sun butter and no nut butter. I'm a nanny and we do this. Okay. Grilling a peanut butter sandwich like you would for a... That's an interesting idea. I've d I do like peanut butter on toast, or I toast the bread first and then slather the peanut butter on it and eat it that way, but I've never think to grill it like a cheese. <laughs> Mario, I really enjoyed your video that I saw the other day about measuring the sword in Twilight Princess versus Link's body size. That made me laugh. How 
Tommy, thank you for the follow. French toast with Nutella peanut butter. I believe it because I've done waffles with peanut butter before and it's real tasty. Peanut butter and still put the syrup on there. I open my island once a month to visitors. We just had our island opening day last weekend, so, but that's why I leave everything out like this. I got my little sections where I like to keep everything. I usually don't assess the fossils unless I'm supposed to for my daily Nook Miles tasks. I usually um, just kind of leave them as is, but... Because you only have to assess 300 to hit that... to get the stamp in your passport. So I just leave them here. Marshall's home. Well, let's see what he's up to. Let's see who's crafting or cooking this morning. Is my Tickfinity not working? Sure doesn't seem like it, does it? Magic Dragon, thank you for the follow. <laughs> we won every award that season. Oh, Marshall, I love that for you. Okay, so I guess Tickfinity is not working. We'll just hide that for now. Pet Draco is a villager, and I'm excited. Nice. Excuse me. Ugh. Wake up. Daisy's cute, but she's still kind of blah. I'm thinking about replacing her. I do like cherry flavored stuff though, Daisy, so. No? It's always goldy. <laughs> Usually I just grab three random ones out of my pile of amiibo cards and let y'all vote on who we bring on the island. Went back to school for the first time in three years. Congratulations! <gasps> Carlos! Sick! My sick little baby! Are you okay? Carlos, that's a little cold. I mean, maybe not for a ram, I guess? <laughs> yeah, Muffy, why aren't you coming and taking care of your boyfriend? I start at school September 5th, so does my husband. He's going back for the first time since 2005. That's when he graduated college. Yeah. Do the math on that, we're old. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm yawning so much. Hard to go back, but so worth it. Yeah, this will be good. 33 going for my EMT, then medic. Ooh, congratulations. You know, it's insane to me that at the age of 18 we're supposed to like choose our forever careers um i graduated x-ray school when i was 29 and husband is 41 and going back to school there's absolutely nothing wrong with that if you're unhappy with your life you should change it it's not gonna be easy but it doesn't mean it's not doable i always care man i don't might not seem to get sick that often Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. Give me that lacy tank, Carlos. Thank you, dear. I got pregnant and I was so sick I had to hold off on going. Oh, that's so exciting that you're getting to do it, though. Uh, good luck. 
see and like with as difficult as it is to go back and change things up and go to school and do this thing if you really are passionate about it you'll make it work it was me in x-ray school yeah Carlos was like I got this just for you 32 and going to nursing school next year see love that what can we do with fake art throw it in the trash or use it to decorate your island the trash cans are functional in this game, like if you get a trash can, you can go and throw stuff from your pockets into the trash can. Yeah, we're going to push everybody into college and they're going to go into debt, but we're not going to have anybody go to trade school to actually learn the trades that we need. Like, oh my gosh. That fish had a fin on it, did it not? I thought this was going to be a shark I've been live 31 minutes it did have a fin okay thank you see I'm so glad I have y'all here because when I when I'm alone and just I'm like no I just didn't see it correctly but y'all see y'all got me did I water all of these or did I get distracted no it looks like I watered all of them the sunfish have a fin too? They shouldn't. It's just the the sharks. That's crazy. Maybe I've just never noticed. I mean the sucker fish has a fin and it comes out the same time as the sharks, and it's just like the tricky fish that you think is gonna be a shark, but it's not. But I could have sworn it was only the sharks that had the fins. I mean, obviously it's not based on what just happened. But I if that fish has had a fin before, I've literally never noticed it. I'm just really unobservant. Yeah. Well, and that's what was crazy. Like, I graduated in, you know, May of high school in 2004. And then I had a kidney transplant in July. So, like, on what planet am I also supposed to, like, pick a career? I was, oh wait, you're my sister's age. I wanted to go to college because I wanted to feel like normal, but it was not the right choice. Bug off in four days, yes. Excuse me, man. This is like that rug in Sims that I keep accidentally picking up. I think that's gonna not go where I want it to. I know. You know, the societal pressure of normal, that's what I wanted. I wanted to feel what society says is normal, because I was 18 and didn't know any better. That my normal is normal, and everyone else's normal is their normal. Hey, that word normal. So, radiology or ultrasound school is like a two-year program. They're two separate programs. And um, it's like two straight years, it's clinicals, it's taking a registry at the end, uh, but you also have to have a bunch of prereqs to qualify for the program, and the programs can be very competitive. So um, I went to college for a while when I was like 18, 19, and then I quit, and then I went back later in life, and I was like just a few credits away from an associate's degree, so I decided to go back just to finish my associates 
And so I was finishing my associates when I decided to apply for radiology. And my program required that I have AMP 1 and 2 completed before I start the program. And I hadn't taken it yet, so they accepted me in the spring for a fall beginning of the program, but I had to take AMP 1 and 2 as back-to-back -back condensed summer courses. That was really difficult. Um, and then I started x-ray school, and then I figured out what difficult actually was. <laughs> I just thought AMP 2 in a condensed summer course was hard. <laughs> Then I took radiology physics. <laughs> physics almost ended me. Becca, thank you for the star. But I persevered. I enjoyed A and P. I'm definitely oh oh my gosh it's actually a DIY I need ah um I like A and P but A and P one is very much like name all the bones here's all the muscles and A and P two is like explain how your circulatory system works and the more What's, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Abstract concepts. I can't touch this and be like, this is my radius and ulna, my carpals, my, you know, I, I'm i definitely more of a hands-on learner. Nook is on. I need to take this off my nook is on list real quick. So I know I got it. Purple hyacinth crown. A to Z. Actually, let's go Z to A. Purple hyacinth crown. There we go. English is my downfall. I really hate it. See, and I like English, but math is so much more applicable to my world, unfortunately. Comparative A&P for vet school could kill a person. I bet it could. My gosh. I don't doubt that at all. Hi, good morning. Been so deep into Stardew Valley, I miss Animal Crossing. Yeah, when you get like addicted to one, the other one falls by the wayside, right? Good morning. I feel like it's been a minute since you've been here. How have you been? Where's the credit union manager? <laughs> oh my gosh. Have I used the ACNH guide app? No, I've made my own guide. Caught your fourth scorpion yesterday. Congratulations! Like, literally, I made my own guide and, like, laminated pages and that kind of thing. So. <laughs> oh. I use Nookazon for a, my wish list so I can keep track of the DIYs I'm missing because I have almost all of them. And um, that's the only thing I use Nookazon for because when I open my island up for my monthly visits, people always want to bring me something and I'm, even though I tell them not to and I don't need any bells, I don't need any tickets or anything, if they have anything on my Nookazon list, people try to help me out because I can complete all the DIYs. So I don't like use it. I don't go to people's islands and get stuff off of it, but I just use it to make a list. I want to know I always still have a job because people do this. I love that. 
Lauren the Mar Mortician pops up on my FYP a lot. <laughs> My guide, if you want to just print the list out, just go look at my link tree. I've got all the lists available as Google Docs for free, and you can just download and print them if you want. You should know on to bring you the herringbone wall DIY. Exactly! So... Spiders can get shaken out of any of the non-fruit trees. Actually, I think they can come out of fruit trees, too. I might be a liar. But if you shake one and it drops down and you miss it, you can shake the tree again and it'll drop down again and you can do it multiple times until you catch it. You have roughly five seconds from the moment it drops down to the moment it goes back up. But the, the spider, see, and there's the bagworm, there's the other one. Because that's a fruit tree. It normally has either peaches or oranges on it. They're just not... I just picked them like yesterday, so... Yeah. Caught all my summer insects waiting for November now. What, Coco? Yeah, you can get um, multiple chances on those if you just reshake the tree. They do not get fleas. <laughs> Hi, good morning. The fleas are so small and hard to see. I'm doing okay, how are you? Same, same, same. I save these shells and then I never end up like crafting them. I should just sell all the shells. The fleas do have a specific season, but they're in season in the northern hemisphere right now. They're in season in the warmer months. But you really gotta have an eye out for them or talk to all your villagers every day and your villagers will tell you they're itchy when they have fleas. Real fleas have been a nightmare this summer. We're having ant problems this summer. <laughs> I'm gonna go and sell almost all of it, yeah. One day both my sheep villagers had fleas. Nice. Look at all the fine things you've brought in today. <sighs> yeah, you just hit him with the net to get the flea off of him. Yeah, I don't know what is up with the ants, but they have, like, invaded our kitchen. And we're not... I mean, it's just one of those things where it's just hot as heck outside. And I guess they're coming in looking for water or something. Because it's just blazing hot. I do have a bunch of Animal Crossing videos for those of y'all who are newer here. Go look on my TikTok profile, and there's a playlist called AC&H Tips, and I have a lot of different um, bug videos and a bunch of other videos. I've got one for fleas, I've got one for flies, I've got one for, tar for tarantulas, which you can also apply the concept to scorpions, and so you can kind of see what you're looking for. If you've never seen a flea before in the game, um... Spider issues in Indiana, oh my gosh. I watch so much TV and movies. 
movies. I love movies. My brain is full of useless pop culture knowledge. I don't know if I said this for your animal costume seems to be my favorite thing. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Doing your awesome map back soon. Have a good day. Thank you for being here. Um, I just finished doing a rewatch of, of ER, the show from like the 90s. Um, Bob's Burgers is my favorite go to comfort show. Um, fake. Fake. This is fake because it's blue. This is the most obvious one. This is fake because his eyebrows look crazy. I was thinking about restarting Grey's Anatomy, but that is a commitment. I'm just really ready for new seasons of Grey's Anatomy. Um, it's coming up on spooky season, so I'm going to be watching a lot of scary movies. His eyebrows shouldn't look like that, in case y'all are wondering. <laughs> Bro looks stressed. Are we excited for Beetlejuice 2? No, I'm going to... I'm going to say some things that are going to make people upset, because it's the same crap I said about Hocus Pocus 2. Why can't anyone have an original idea? Why is Jenna Ortega in literally everything? I don't care for her. I didn't watch Wednesday because I just... Why? Why is she like Spooky Queen? I don't get it. Um, why? Why can't we just leave the original Beetlejuice alone? Don't get it. So no, I will not be watching that. If that's your cup of tea, that's cool. I'm not hating on you for liking that. I'm just saying, personally, I never even watched Hocus Pocus 2. Why? Well, to what purpose? So this is why I watch, like, A24 films. Because they're hella messed up for the most part. And they're weird and unique. Um, everyone was like, Shannon, I'll bet you loved Wednesday. And I feel like freaking in South Park when everyone is like, Cartman, I bet you love Family Guy. Just because I like scary stuff doesn't mean I like all scary stuff. I still have a discernible palette for scary things. A24. A24 could make anything and I will see it. I thought that that mustache was that thing's eyes, that frog's eyes, but he's got like closed eyes and a mustache. This is a weirdly designed character. This is the Happy Home Parado Paradise Island. This is the DLC island. A24 is a production company. Like, their big one they made last year was Everything Everywhere All at Once that, like, swept all the award shows. Y'all, the Oscars is my Super Bowl, so... Um, they're a film production company. Midsummer is, is one of my favorites. Florence Pugh can get it forever. I love her. I'm obsessed with her. Um... A24 is made so... Ugh, Witch is so good. I enjoyed Hereditary... I, I like Ari Aster. He's messed up. I never saw Bo is Afraid. I never got a chance to see it. Oh, man, so good. I also love, oh, I'm going to say her name wrong, I always get it mixed up. Is it Anya Taylor-Joy that was in The Witch? She's fantastic. The, she was great in The Menu up against Ralph Fiennes. Oh, Pearl is my favorite A24 movie. Nice. He's the one who got me A24. He gets the credit. Just be warned, any of these movies I'm mentioning, any movie by A24 
is gonna mess with your head a little bit and be a little uh, much. These are definitely R-rated movies for a reason. I just want y'all to know that those are not for everybody. <laughs> A spooky season has begun. Although A24 did make that movie Marcel the Shell with the Shoes On, I think it was their first PG rated movie um, with um, Jenny Slate voicing Marcel and it was all stop motion animation. It looked really cute. I didn't get a chance to see that one. Lottie, what are we doing here? Carlos is my favorite. Used for creating room designs. You can use it anytime. Oh, I'm never going to use this, Lottie. Thanks, though. Took my Halloween bump in the yard. I think since 2020, everyone's just kind of been like, do what makes you happy. I leave Halloween decorations up on my porch year round. I like the like hand painted um, like Mexican pottery that you can go and buy. It's so I have a lot of those pumpkins on my front porch year round. I have this creepy like cement baby that I found at Salvation Army and it's painted turquoise. It's horrifying. It sits on my porch year round as well. It's not specifically like Halloween, it's just like really, really terrible decor, and I just happened to find it and fell in love with it, so. I should take a picture of her and post it. Oh, I was gonna work and decorate a house. I forget about that creepy baby. I never go on my front porch. Ugh, I just put a smear on my glasses. What are my plans today? We're gonna do a home. Creepy turquoise baby. I'll try to remember to take a picture of her today. Any advice for my first stream? Just be yourself. Um, talk even if there's no one there, because you never know when people are popping in, and people like to see creators who are interactive and talking and whatever. Um, it takes a while to build an audience, don't be discouraged. They'll find you. Yeah, so this is the Happy Home Paradise DLC. You can come out here and decorate vacation homes as part of your job. You're, I'm at work right now. And then you can go and talk to all the villagers that are on the beach or in your cafe or your restaurant. <coughs> Excuse me. And design a vacation home for them. Yeah, think aloud a lot. I'm already a think aloud person. And this has just enhanced it. I want a place that's not quite finished yet. That's a weird prompt. Reading a good book in an autumn forest sounds great. <sighs> yes, Bork, let's do it. I wish you signed a scare my listeners. I love that. Yeah. Let's be build your autumnal dreams. Got rid of that weirdo a few weeks ago. He wants mushy stuff so we can use mushy items. I think, I think Spork's birthday might be in September. Good morning, Cassie. Just did a mushroom forest cabin. It was so cute. Yes. Okay, so he wants to live in the woods. Ooh. Yes. There are a bunch of spooky DIYs 
Um, and then on Halloween, there's this character named Jack that comes, and you can pass out candy to villagers, and it's good stuff. This is Happy Home, the, the Happy Home Designer, yes. I'm not working today, no. It's fun. Like, if you're kind of bored with regular Animal Crossing, this is a nice little addition that's a little different than the normal game, but still... Um, why is this outside? No, I'm not gonna do a movie today. I'm gonna go do Pilates. And probably try to study some today. We might do a study stream later. Some of y'all really enjoyed that, so... We might do another one of those. Mushroom, mushroom! I'm studying for my um, registry for CAT scan. <laughs> I did a work study stream for the first time like the other day. So it's not something I've done a whole lot of but I had such a positive response to it. Sometimes I try new stuff. Oh, I don't like this. This doesn't come in the same color. And if I get like positive feedback on it, then I definitely will like try to incorporate it. is better when it's turned off okay I don't mind the white and you can change the season out here too right I kind of like the fall though we're good with the fall you want to go inside and read a book? Yeah. I've, I forgot you could change the weather until I remembered Franz talking about it the other day. I can't wait for- honestly, <laughs> this is what I want. I was talking about this the other day. I was talking about this the other day at work and I was like, my favorite day in the whole world would be like, a fall day where you wear like jeans and a t-shirt and you can it's raining but you don't have to go anywhere and you can stay at home and just like read a book and sit on the couch and just like vibe and somebody was like oh, sounds like days before I had kids and I was like sounds like every day for me so Those vibes are immaculate, thank you. I love fall so much. Oops. That wasn't what we meant to do. <laughs> love it. Miss Fall Day is like, it's a hot here through a I know, right? Is it... <laughs> Tiffany, I have to ask the same question, like, are those cicadas, like, in my backyard, or are they in my game? I cannot tell the difference. 
Uh, I'd like to experience fall except I live in Florida. Yeah, all I want to wear is my chucks, a pair of jeans, a t-shirt with a zip-up hoodie. End of list. That's all. We're going to, I'm so excited. This is going to be such a good house. Okay. First of all, let's make it much bigger. Good morning. Yeah. do we have here? I definitely like, I think either the natural or the mixed wood. So you can't do it right away. The thing about the happy home paradise is the more houses you design, the more options they give you. So I don't know. In the top left corner, it's a little cut off, but you can see if you use your D-pad and you press the left button, you'll get options like for soundscapes, lighting, for your entryway, and all this will come with time. But on the room size, you can change like the size of your room like that. So I'll take some sort of a canopy tent over there, Eric, <laughs> cool it off, I thought of you. You know, we have a canopy tent, we should try that. The one to the left of the sound you choose. Um, windows. You can use or don't use windows. And then this changes where he, where Spork is standing. It changes the entryway. And you can option to like take the windows off or to use windows. Fully upgraded my house. Should I be able to do that? No, this is the Happy Home Paradise designer. This is the DLC. So we're designing a vacation home right now. This is not my home. Serena, thank you for the cat paws. Okay, we need to pick a flooring and a wallpaper. I think there was a... Oh, you meant the sound? There was a... Yes, I did choose the thunderstorm option. It's playing in the house, but it's quiet. Yeah, this is only in the DLC part. Unfortunately, you can't change the size of the rooms at your home. Forest flooring. The disco room I did the other day, that one was fun. I really enjoyed the upstairs that we did yesterday for um, whatever that house theme was. I didn't care for the downstairs as much as I did the upstairs. Chelsea's, ooh, Slowick, thank you for the roses. If I butchered your name, I apologize. If he wants it to be like foresty, there's literally a forest wall. Cute. Okay. Now, Tiffany, thank you for the enjoy music. change and make that just an exit wall on the partition wall or can I make it an exit wall behind me you said it's the English way so I'll take it okay thank you <laughs> See if we can hmm. 
Hmm. I'm sorry, I'm so sniffly today, you guys. Oh, dang it. Polish people like to make words difficult. <laughs> okay. Kind of like that. Sw Swovic. Oh, is there a waterfall wall? That's a good idea. Cherry blossom. We've got the autumn wall. Kind of like this one with the glowing mo with the ruins, but I also kind of just like the mossy garden wall as well. You can't change the partition color. So what I did was I put two partition walls here and here, but made the back wall an accent wall. So it looks like the wallpaper wraps around. I saw Megpie do it and was like, that looks gorgeous. So. Gives it a little more depth. Your morning matcha drink turned out so fire. Oh, speaking of which. to get my protein drink in before I go a workout. Oh, look at this mushy log. I like the red mushrooms. I think that's going to add a nice little... I've been here for an hour, but I've been working. Oh, Meg, see, I saw you do the partition walls, and they looked so good like that. I was like, I'm going to try that, and I love how it looks. So, credit to you. Y'all go follow Meg and watch her decorate cute things, because that's where I got my inspo for this, with the walls like that. I would never thought to use them like that. Yeah, I like the red. I think the red looks really good with that. Ooh. Uh, Meg's hospital is perfect. Get this wreath. <laughs> I love it so much. We're just going to put everything on this wall. Good. I'm glad to hear that. I'm 
We need a comfy place to sit. Ooh, old books. Do I like the colorful books better? Honestly, we can do both. Please go on top of that bookshelf. No. I have heard of Roblox. Oh, I love these little libraries. Those are so cute. I wish I had more mushroom stuff. I'm gonna go for a big haircut today and I'm nervous. Big changes can be scary. But that's okay. And it is it is just hair. That's why I tell myself it's just hair. We it'll grow back. Oh dang it. Snooty's leaving. I guess not by your choice, huh? I don't think I like that as much as I thought I would. If I just did it like that, oh, because it won't fit there. Okay, well. Not by choice, there's a spot for Lucky. There you go. Okay, what kind of comfy... comfiness should we put here? Extra long sofa. There's got to be a shorter log. I mean, there's the log chairs. I thought there was a log bench that was only like two wide. But not that one. I guess I could change it and sort it alphabetically. Mm, guess not. Guess I'm dreaming. Comfy comfiness. <laughs> There's two log benches. Yeah, that's what I thought. I just don't see it in here. Ooh, bears. Should we put the Nicolas Cage pillows on there? Just because they show up now and again? Good morning, M. How are you? that though that's cute great because I'm still in bed uh log bench was right by the bed yeah I I thought there was like log furniture that was in between the chair and the extra long sofa like I thought there was like a love seat sized log furniture but um I think I'm just making that up. I don't think it really exists. I think that's in my brain. Oh, you can put a tablecloth on it. I 
kind of like it without the tablecloth, honestly. Yeah, like it looks like a napkin on that table, not a tablecloth. If the mushy rug is available, that thing would look really cute in here, but I don't see it. Oh, just kidding, here it is. I think it's too small for this space, but we could put it like here this house the other day and loved it so much we made it fall and rainy outside and then I put like the thunderstorm soundscape in here because I want to lay down on a rainy day and read a book it's such a vibe oh but look at the maple leaf rug too oh, I like that do I like that better than the mushy rug I think I might in here at least Okay, I think I like that better. I'm gonna be honest. Cannot wait to get further into it. I'm obsessed. Yes, this is the DLC that we're playing right now. It's really, really good. So if you ever get to a point where you uh, need more from your Animal Crossing, I highly recommend the DLC. Oh, my Nook door plate. I would also like, I like the log shelves, that's cute. Mm. I like this pond as well. I'm just going to pick a bunch of stuff and then we'll get rid of what I don't like. Oh, my finger is itchy today. I do like the mush lamp, but I think I want to use the red one. Because I think the red one fits better in this room. Yeah, for sure. I want a hammock, but not the paradise planning hammock. I'm back. Welcome back. We're still just like vibing in our little forest here. I could do like Oh, this is the Mario one, isn't it? It's big. Oh my god, but he loves it. Put 
put this in the corner. We're gonna put this like here. Mm, I think I like it together way better. You don't automatically have all the furniture and everything, but it doesn't cost you anything because this is your job, you know? And so you have access to a lot of stuff and more stuff unlocks the more you play. The whole thing with Happy Home Paradise is that the more homes you decorate, like the more stuff is gonna unlock for you to use in the homes. Too many, too many things. Your plants about a house, yes. I want this to be like hidden back here, secret reading area. I wonder if the mush parasol would work better than that, like, Mario mushroom. I've been using a mushroom in, like, every single house. Oh, you know what? We could put it over here with this, like, pond thing we already have going over here. mushy little forest. I just want it all to be cozy. Yeah, because it's got to be more than 20000 right? Because we get paid 20000 Well, at this point in the game, I'm getting paid 20000 to decorate. What else? What do we have here? Sporks own a picture. These wood block. A skinny mushroom. Ooh. Mm-hmm. These are expensive homes. Definitely out of my price range. These are so teeny, you can hardly see them, but I like that. They're cute. <laughs> Welcome back, Mason. No, oh, you're fine. Sort of play my DLC. I was like, I'm playing. <laughs> you know, this is the most I've played it in a long time because I usually don't have a lot of time to play it. But these days I don't work now, kind of nice. So now we don't have like a mushy um, hanging light. But we'll go with these dark wood lights. I think those kind of go. Put them over our various little reading areas. put some food or something on the table. We're, we're just decorating this house. Oh. <sighs> Excuse me. I had a baby. I haven't been on forever. Oh my goodness. Well, yeah, you've been busy. I hope everything's going well with the new baby. Sending you positive vibes. He asked for like I can't remember what the actual description was, but it's kind of like a place in the woods to read. And I said, bet. 
so where are we gonna find like a traditional tea set for sure teacups because reading means tea I wish I could just select this bench move books I want to duplicate this Put a teacup over here. Well, Donna, thank you for the pumped up. I appreciate that. <laughs> Have the day off, which is nice. Can finally catch a morning stream. Yeah. Cup of tea. Stack of books. Can I put these mushrooms on this? I can. So cute. <laughs> Honestly, I love this room. I would live in this room. I don't really want to put a lot on the walls because I just like the whole vibe of the wallpaper. And we kind of decorated that back wall there. So I think we're good here, honestly. I'm just going to be ticked when I log back in. <laughs> it turned out really cute. What's up, Snork? A wee library in the fall woods. He loves it too. Look at him drink his tea. I may not really enjoy his vi his like character, but he had just stellar choice on vacation home. The music is so fun when you complete it. <laughs> Good morning, Sammy. Yeah, it's super fun. That's Spork. Okay, um, I need to go grab my protein drink real quick. I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, Wardell. Everybody loves Wardell.
Okay. <sighs> this is Animal Crossing New Horizons. Oh, I didn't mean to select finish, my bad. We're, I thought about doing another one. Well, we'd rather decorate another vacation home or do like a mystery island. It's Evolve. It's a plant-based protein shake. Chocolate flavored. I like the Fair Life ones too. They didn't have them. So this is a nice option. It's vegan so I know there's no dairy in it. Mystery Island, Mystery Island. Decorate, decorate. Serena, thank you for the rose. Oh, not a mystery vacation. It would either be another vacation home or we would go like take the boat to a mystery island and do like the tree chopping down and um, I think they were slightly more expensive than the Fairlife ones. <laughs> or we could invite Villager via Amiibo to decorate their home if we want to pick one out. Um... Mystery Island, alright. Let me buy some of this stuff. We have too many choices. I don't mind the creamy protein drink. Um, mostly I'd have to find something that's not like chocolate. I don't want a ton of creatine and um, it needs to be either like really low in lactose or lactose free. I don't feel like, is the greenhouse only available in Happy Home? I don't know. Uh, you have to purchase this. It's called Happy Home Paradise. It's the DLC for the Animal Crossing New Horizons game. So you have to buy it for $24.99. That's US dollars. Or if you've um, got the Nintendo Online Plus expansion membership, it's included in that, whether you have the individual or the family. It's been in the Nook Shop. Okay. I didn't think it was Happy Homes exclusive. Premier Pro Team, but yeah. Oh, we looked at your shoes yesterday. I didn't like them yesterday. I'm not going to like them today. Oh, we already came out here. Why did I come back out here? Let's talk to this chick over here. Ooh. Yeah, if you've got the family expansion pack, if you go to the eShop, it won't say, like, free where the price is listed, but when you go to purchase it, it'll be like, oh, we see you have the expansion membership, this is included, and they won't charge you for it. Uh oh. My luck with health will diminish. Good morning. Yeah, you have to unlock this once you've reached three stars. So we'll go ahead and cleanse. <laughs> So if you have bad luck with health, when you run around your island, your character will trip and fall and stuff like that. Um, but I cleansed, so we're good now. No, and people were saying, like, that she sends good gifts, and I almost never cleanse, so I don't remember what she sends. So we'll see if she sends a gift in the mail tomorrow, because I'm curious. I see your infusions if you have to look at it. Yeah, I just gotta, like, 
With protein drinks, I have to be careful about ingredients because everybody does keto and I can't, and it, ketosis can be really hard on your kidneys if you have kidney issues you shouldn't be doing. I'm not a medical doctor. This is not my advice. This is what I've been told by my medical doctor as someone with a kidney transplant. Ketosis is not for me. So I'm just trying to like add some extra protein in. I'm not trying to do anything crazy. I'm just, um, I don't eat enough. And so until I can modify my diet a little better, I'm just trying to like add some extra in and I don't like breakfast and it's really hard. I'd rather just like drink a shake. So, um, I'm trying to be smart and put something in my body before I go work out. I have to be careful too because my pancreas is still rough. Yeah, so make sure to consult your own medical professional for dietary advice, not me. But I hate breakfast and it's so hard to eat. Are you able to have whey? I think so. I just don't... Yeah. I'm like not totally lactose intolerant, but... The, some of the protein drinks have really messed my guts up, so if I can go with a dairy-free option, that's preferable. But yeah, whey is... tends to fall in that category. <laughs> Not my guts. Mm, I don't enjoy a, a breakfast... I've, ne I've never liked breakfast. I've never been a breakfast person. <laughs> Even Lucky's reminded me of the bug off. How's the acne? Nice. Alright, Mystery Island it is. allergic to soy so it's super hard. I'll bet that's hard. So let's get our stuff out. Good morning. And grab extra stuff just in case. And, oops, that's the wrong thing. Well, this one's plant-based, this one that I've got. And, um, it's got a, a pea protein isolate. So, it's not bad, honestly. I've definitely had worse. You have a good day, too. Thanks for hanging out. That panda umbrella is so cute. <laughs> also, I should be drinking more water. I got it at Sam's, like, just the other day. Evolve is the brand. They only have the chocolate, but I that would be my flavor, my first choice anyway. So I was like, sure, let's give it a try. I was looking for Fair Life, and they didn't have it. Oh, glowing moss and vine islands. Nice. Well, I don't need my ladder. Press B repeatedly to skip his song. I hate his songs too. Yeah, Captain, we got things to do. They have a powder version, it might be cheaper to get and mix it at home. It might be. But the kicker is also I'm trying to since my work schedule's changing, I'm going to be working 12s. I'm going to be bringing, like, more than just a lunch to work with me. 
because I'm going to be there 12 hours out of my day. And so I was looking for something portable that's easy for me to just like pull out of my fridge, throw into a lunchbox along with my lunch. I'm trying to prepare as adequately as I can to not starve at work. <laughs> he gets sassy when you press B. Yeah. Because when I wake up, I don't want to eat immediately. It usually takes me a little while to kind of wake up and like start getting hungry. So I will probably be at work by the time I'm ready to eat breakfast. Good morning, Catherine. How are you? My hand is good. It's itchy today. But it's good. Like, you almost can't even tell I had surgery on it. It looks really, really good. And I can do this. And this. Works well. We've got taco meat and toppings. He just takes an apple and a banana. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like I've never worked shifts this long before regularly. There's been some times where I've like filled in at our urgent care and those are 12 hour shifts. And I'm like, and they're eight to eight shifts. So you take like lunch and dinner with you because you're eating two meals a day there, you know? And so I like to over plan. Because it's also that thing where I know that my machine's going to be busy all day as well. So, like, leaving and going and getting lunch really isn't an option. Because it's usually just, like, you and the machine all day and all your patients and stuff. You're a, you're a one-man show. And so, um... Okay, what about you? Oh, I'm doing all right. Portable blender is for well. Nice. Frozen breakfast sandwiches and warms up halfway through the morning. Nice. Same, M. Same. Oh, it must be 8.45. I just heard the light click off behind me. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Catherine, thank you for the hat and mustache. <laughs> we expect no, it's good. I like to know what other people do. We try to do meal prep for like lunch every week, and um... <laughs> gotta twist my mustache again. Tip my hat to you. <laughs> thank you, Catherine. <laughs> It always makes me want to like, hmm. Catherine, thank you for the rose. I'm a big fan of like grazing throughout the day as well. Like I like eating a meal, but at the same time, like I'm a snacker. So if I can take little snackies with me. You need friends? You should check out my Discord. It's linked in my link tree. And there's a place there for you to share your switch code. And there's a ton of other switch codes that have been shared there that you can add. I work tens like it breaks one store for lunch. Nice. Giddy up for sure. Dozen croissants you can get from Sam's. Okay, I'm done. We just got a bunch of mini everything bagels. I love a good croissant. I like a chocolate chip muffin. I'm trying to I'm trying to make better choices for my body. Not that those are bad in moderation. They're not. It's all like, ooh, big boy. Sitting your roses, thank you, Glory. I'm new to the game. Well welcome. I've been playing this game for a while, and I don't know everything, but I know a lot. And a lot of people in chat know stuff, too, that I don't know. So, if you need some help or have questions, we are here. Stop, I'm so hungry now. God, we talk about food so much that I'm like, why am I so hungry after stream? <laughs> but. 
Yeah. I didn't know this one. Like, don't get me wrong, I ate popcorn and a box of candy at the movies yesterday. But I drank water instead of getting a soda. Just little things. I would rather eat my sugar than drink my sugar. Can you look up a code you've used before if you didn't save it as favorites? I don't use enough custom codes to know a lot about them. I wish I could help you, but if anybody in the chat knows the answer to that question... Going through bariatric surgery in three weeks on an 800 calorie diet now. Yes. Um, another streamer I follow, Fonzella, recently had bariatric surgery and um, like earlier in the year and so I kind of watched her do the same thing and diet and all that. Gosh, I think she's down like 90 pounds or something. It's awesome. She's a fantastic streamer. You should go check her out. Um, just because she's a great Animal Crossing and Zelda streamer. But diet change is hard. Who doesn't want to eat candy and drink Cokes all day? I would love that. Oh, my triglycerides are always high. <laughs> I had to explain to a doctor one time. They're like, your triglycerides are so high. Like, what's going on? I said, I eat candy. Like, a lot of candy. And they were like, no. And I said, think about... I said, imagine a child and how much children love candy, but they have access to grown-up money. I eat candy like that. And they were like, okay. And I was like, yeah, I love candy. I don't really know how to reiterate that more clearly. So. <laughs> if a child with no self-control <laughs> I was like, that's how much I like candy. Sugar-free Jolly Ranchers. Man, I've been I've been after some Skittles lately. I mean with chicken nuggets, my weakness is ice cream and little Debbie's. Man, little Debbie's have changed a lot. I bought a box of ding dongs a couple weeks back. And I just did not like them as much as I used to. Pasta and pastry. like bread just in all its forms been dying for ice cream but scared but I've been scared since surgery okay see I'm, every once in a while I'll get on an ice cream kick but again being moderately lactose intolerant ice cream is not my friend I also love chocolate I'm a chocolate fiend same but with chips. See, I could I could not eat chips again and be okay with that. But like I don't know man, bread is so good. And yeah, oh, salted dark chocolate. Yes. I love a good salted chocolate. I am still on, just for a little bit longer, not too terribly much longer. I will never not want chips, especially with sour cream. I could never eat chips again, and that would be fine, but I could never go without popcorn. Just buttered popcorn. I love popcorn. You stupid fish. Rice Krispie treats all day. Oh my god, my husband loves Rice Krispie treats. Watch it be a sucker fish after all that. Slow, whatever it is. Kill corn, not so much. I want buttery popcorn. And then I have this mix of spices that I put on it sometimes. I call it my popcorn spice. But it's a combination of Tony, I'm going to butcher this, Tony Chachere's Creole seasoning. And this barbecue joint here that's local called Stanley's. It's their dry rib rub. Oops, I needed that. The rib rub is um, kind of sweet 
and the Tony's is kind of spicy and it's a perfect sweet spicy combination for popcorn. Yeah, I butchered it. Of course I did. I knew. I knew. I was like, Mason's going to hate the way I say this because it's wrong. It's just Tony's. It's very good. Mm, the Annie's fruit snacks. Annie's makes good stuff. Target popcorn and white cherry icy. Oh my god, I love a white cherry icy. I have not had a white cherry icy in like probably years. That is, man. Does popcorn, does Target even do popcorn and ices anymore? I don't think ours does. Ours doesn't have a cafe, it's just got a Starbucks. Good morning. it in years. Man, I worked at Target when I was what was I? 17. No, that couldn't have been right because I was too sick to work then. Target was one of my first jobs. Because I worked for that law office when I was like 15. I remember it was when some of the Harry Potter books were coming out. I when I was like okay, so one of my like longtime family friends um is a lawyer and when I say work, so I was like the file clerk. I was like filing paperwork. Um and whatnot. She gave me my first job. I was 15. I couldn't even drive myself to my job. And my mom was personal training her and stuff. And she's just remained a lifelong friend. She's one of the kindest and just most generous human beings on this earth, this woman. Actually, I just saw her at Pilates like two weeks ago. And anyway, she hired me when I was a kid. And me and her like nephew worked together. Um, doing kind of, I don't know, filing tasks and things like that. Her nephew is a few years older than me. But yeah, that was my very first real job, was being like a little, a little fire gal. My mom was an assistant for a lawyer. Nice. Right when I graduated college, I almost took a job. Catalina selling abalone. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Catching fast swimmers can be difficult. You can kind of sneak in the water if you stay on the surface and just like gently tap your, I guess, whichever button it is that makes you go forward. Like gently tap your joystick and they'll still kind of move and you want to kind of like get them towards a fence and see if you can kind of pin them against a fence and dive when you're a little bit closer and closer to a fence. Please tell me how to catch a scorpion. So... You want to play red light, green light with them, essentially. I would recommend watching my video on how to catch a tarantula, because the scorpions are the exact same as the tarantulas. Uh, I have a playlist of Animal Crossing tips videos that are very helpful, and that is one of the videos in there. Did we hit that? I think we did. Just finished your fossil collection. Congratulations. Tried for two hours to catch the giant stag. I was so tired. I gave up. Those stags are like the bane of everybody's existence right now. I'm trying to finish them up before August is done. Oh, that grasshopper said, I would rather unalive than go into your pocket. we go. That was a weird reaction, considering I've got that one already. I do have a YouTube. It's uh, linked in my profile. And 
Am I in a different season on this island? No. Um, I upload my old streams to it. It does it every time you catch one? Okay. How much space we got left in our pockets? Three slots. Let's fill it with fish. I started playing Animal Crossing not so long ago and I'm obsessed. It does that. This game does that for sure. It's right in your face. You know you see it. Punk. Ooh. So if you look in my link tree, there's a link to my Discord there, and if you want to join it, there is a channel where you can post your Switch code, and a ton of other people have posted theirs as well. And so you can add them as friends, and they can add you. I swear I saw a fish there. That's how you catch a fish by sound. notification that my Pilates class starts in an hour. Pilots! Anyone wishing it was Friday? Eh. I haven't even started my work week yet. This island music is good. It makes me wish I was on an island. Yeah, for some reason my Tickfinity wasn't connecting today, and so I just made the bar invisible because it wouldn't connect. What are we up to? I can't see it. I can't celebrate the like goals because I cannot see. What? That's just appointment an hour I'm major procrastinating. <laughs> Let's go home, Captain. Ooh. Luna, thank you for the heart me. Almost 30,000 likes. Yas. Thank you, guys. I've got to finish this drink. Cannot figure out how to add you on Discord. Um, let me try this. So that's the link to the Discord if the one in my link tree isn't working for you. But once you've joined, you have to like go to the rules page and read the rule and make sure you use the correct reaction emoji to unlock all the channels. And then you should be able to access all the channels. But you don't have to add me as a friend or anything on Discord. I'll tell y'all right now, I won't accept it. Uh <laughs> Um, yeah, Discord in general doesn't always work through TikTok, so sometimes you have to copy and paste it into a browser. I'll accept your Switch friend code requests, but that's about where I put it for friend requests, because y'all have plenty of ways to reach me and contact me if need be. Almost 31, yes! No, it's cool. You're not the only one who is a little unsure about Discord. It's not something that a lot of people use, I've realized. Alexa popped in a few nights ago, I think, but it's been a while since I've seen her. I think she's just busy. You just have to think of Discord, and I might be aging myself with this comment, as like a chat room. And the 
you have a Discord that's like on a theme. And for me, it's me. You enjoy my content, you go there. That's where my live announcements happen. That's where my giveaways happen. That's where I'm trying to like create a little community of people. Y'all can help each other out with Animal Crossing stuff or just like chat about whatever. It's cool. Um, a lot of streamers have a Discord. Franzella has her own. Megpie has her own. Same kind of deal. So... It's just a nice way to kind of have that community. Chat runes and threads, exactly. So there's different categories, different threads. You can talk in the little areas that... Yeah, and I check the Discord pretty regularly, so if y'all ask me questions or whatever, I do have like mods that help out to answer questions and things because I can't always see it. And for those of y'all who are new here, I work in radiology, so at work I'm surrounded by giant magnets because I work in MRI, or lead walls because I do x-rays. So like my phone really does not work well at work. <laughs> So, as much as I love to check and chat and whatever, I'm very unreachable. Like, I can't even text my husband unless I, like, leave the building kind of thing. So, that's why I have mods and other people who have been around a long time um, that can help answer questions and things. Like, if you have a question that I directly need to answer, of course you can DM me on there. Um... Or if you ever have a problem or anything like that, but just general gaming questions and stuff. There's chats for that, so y'all can help each other out. So you're going to school for sonography, nice. So you get it, like being busy, being running around, whatever kind of sonography you choose to do. Whether you're at a hospital running around doing portable scans in patients' rooms or like working for an OB or you know whatever. So. The top left icon. I just got this one. It's the room sketch. It has to do with the happy home paradise. Let's shake these trees because I don't think we shook them yet. I'm going to see if there's any wasps. Yeah. And then we'll probably be done because I got to go get ready. Yeah, I just got that, and I've decorated like 33 vacation homes, so I don't know if that's the magic number or what. I do not think it's worth it to buy the guide. I made my own guide, but it's just kind of what... So, this is a good note to end on. This is the Shibel. It's Shannon's Bible. I made this bad boy. Um during the panorama when we were all stuck at home, I was putting my energy to good use, making spreadsheets. So, I have a list for bugs, fish, sea creatures, and then sculptures and paintings, okay? So it'll tell you in the order of your Critterpedia what months the bugs are available, what time of day where you're going to find them, and how many bells they're worth if you sell them in a nook's cranny. So, bugs, fish, and sea creatures have these lists. And then... A complete painting list and how to determine the reels from the fakes and also sculptures so yes you can use the acnh.guide app um, if that existed I did not know about it in 2020 and I made this instead so those are free to print and download they are Google Docs um, Kurlos is my favorite villager print them download them use them love them in Shiba we trust. So, yeah, Nintendo copied me. Um, so. Print them, use them, love them. They're free. But my Cash App and PayPal is also linked if you want to throw a couple bucks my way to support the stream. But you don't have to. Yeah. So. That being said... We've almost got 19.7 followers. We're one follower short. Lexi, thank you for the roses. Um, 
When we hit 20,000 followers here, I'm going to be doing several giveaways in my Discord page. My Discord is linked in my link tree along with any other way to contact me or social media you might need. It's all in my link tree. Go check it out. There's also a playlist of Animal Crossing tips videos. A lot of my frequently asked questions that I get are in there. How to get the storage shed, how to catch a wasp, how to catch a tarantula or scorpion, fleas, money trees, all that stuff. Luna, thank you for the love you. Um, join the Discord. You have to be a Discord member to win the giveaways when those happen. But we still have 300 people to go before the giveaways open. But thank you all for being here. No more morning streams for the rest of the week. I am working Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, my 12-hour shifts. So I will probably stream later in the day. It's probably going to be more of a chill work-study stream like I did a couple days ago. If you need some background noise, all of my old gameplay is uploaded to my YouTube. Go enjoy. There is a ton of backlog there. Have fun at Pilates. Thank you. I'm excited. It's going to be a good time. So I'm going to go. Is that chocolate? Sorry, there's something on my mat here. And I just noticed that. Um, distraction. Other than that, I'll see you all next time. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody.